The publications you create need to be designed with the expectation that the colors you see on the screen match the colors printed. For this purpose, Scribus accommodates with a few tools to assist with color management. In this video, we'll be discussing color management in Scribus, so let's get started. Welcome to class. If you're relatively new to Scribus, you may have noticed that you only have the ability to use a set number of colors in your publications, and you may be frustrated or asking yourself, how do I add new ones? And this would be a perfectly good question. It's important to note that Scribus is intended for desktop publishing, which means printing text on paper. In this regard, it's best that you thoroughly plan out the colors you're expecting to use prior to designing the layout for your publication. So back to our original question, how do we add new colors to our publications in Scribus? Add color. You can add new colors to your document color palette in a few ways. The first option is to use the colors and fills control panel to select a color set or create a new color set by adding or removing colors to a newly selected set that can be used with any appropriate frames throughout the document. The second option would be to use the color wheel to create a preview and set of generated colors that can be added to your document's existing color palette or replace existing colors. Let's take a look at each option. Colors and fills. From the standard menu, you can select edit and then colors and fills to open the colors and fills control panel. On the left side of the control panel, you should see a list of colors currently available in your publication. On the right, you'll see controls used to import, add, and edit colors along with changing and creating color sets. To add a new color, select the solid colors heading or any color from the left pane and then select the add button on the right. An edit color control panel will appear. From this control panel, you're given the ability to set your new color's name, color model, and color values. You can then use the color map to copy colors from existing color sets or create new colors from existing colors by making fine tune adjustment. It's important to note that when choosing a color model, physical printers are expected to use the CMYK color profile, whereas digital media such as a PDF or an ebook would look best if you use RGB color profile. Removing colors. Removing unused colors from your color palette has a few benefits as well. The most important is to ensure that your publication colors stay on brand. Removing unused colors has the additional benefit of increasing productivity. When working through your layouts and assigning colors to elements within your document, it's best not to spend time scrolling through a list of color options you have no intention of using in your publication. Or worse, selecting a similar color that's actually different from the intended color and inadvertently creating work for yourself that you'll have to correct later. From the Colors and Fills control panel, you can remove an individual color by selecting the color and clicking on the delete button. To remove all unused colors, with the color set selected, you can select Remove Unused. And as you guessed it, all defined colors not currently used in your document will be removed from the color palette. The Color Wheel. Planning out your document color set should be one of the first steps in your process and can be the most difficult. Depending on your publication or workflow, you may have to convert colors from one color model to another, such as CMYK to RGB. Or you may just get stuck trying to find a color palette where the colors work well together. Or maybe you're just trying to add colors to your current document color set that match a specific brand. If you find yourself in any of these situations, the color wheel control panel in Scribus can be extremely helpful. We can open the color wheel control panel from the standard menu by selecting extras and then color wheel. With the color wheel control panel open, you should see, well, a color wheel. The color wheel should have a control node, and with your computer mouse, you should be able to drag the control node around the wheel to change the base color. To the right of the color wheel is a series of tabs that allow you to fine tune the base color by adjusting the values on the CMYK, RGB, or HSV color model tabs. There is even a document tab that will show you a list of all of the colors in the current document's selected color palette. Below the color wheel is a section for setting the color scheme method and setting an angle if it applies to the selected method. Among others, you can change the color scheme to generate monochromatic, analogous, or complementary colors. Depending on your selected color scheme, you can adjust the angle to identify colors that work well together. Below the color scheme is a preview panel and a vision defect type selection. 
Within the preview panel, you can change the vision defect type to get a better understanding of how individuals with vision defects see the colors in your publication. To the right is a list of result colors created. At the bottom of the color wheel control panel is a few buttons that can be used to modify the current document's color palette. First is the merge button, and the merge button will take all of the result colors and add them to the document color palette. The replace button will take the current colors in the result color panel and replace the current document colors with the same name. And of course, the cancel button will close the color wheel control panel. In this video, we discussed color management in Scribus. We identified how to use the colors and fills and color wheel control panels to create, add, and select a document's color set. If this video helped you or you would like to have us cover a specific topic in Scribus, be sure to let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.